Good morning. So this is the lead up to Mother's Day. And we're just emptying out the car because I've got to go pick up two big flower orders. So one at the florist wholesaler and one from a local grower. We've just been flat out busy all week. My, my dad's here visiting. It's the busiest week of the year and he always turns up. <laughs> it's nice to have him here, but far out. Worst timing. Um, so I'm talking quiet because they're asleep in their caravan. And I, we've been just kind of stocking the studio, which isn't finished, but we're having to just use it, not finished. So I'll take you over there and show you how that looks. Um, I've got to go into town today, pick up those flower orders and just a few other things. I, we're going to do roadside and the market on the Saturday before Mother's Day, which is chaotic. We don't know how we're going to do this with the kids, but we're just going to have to make it work. I'll show you what we've got in here. Oh, I bought this really cute mat, but because my floor is slippery, when you walk in the door, you slip over, so I can't do it. Oh, and I got these really cool things. Look at these. How cute. This has got nothing to do with this video, but some of you will appreciate this. Look at those beautiful little wall sconces and these beautiful, like, glass lights. Facebook Marketplace, of course. And I've got, the, and I've got some other wall lights in there. And I got it all for 50 bucks. Pretty chuffed. So this is what's going on in here. I've just set up some tables so I can work. Shani's gonna make her little mini posies on this table. We've just started to fill up buckets with foliage just to get ready for um, Mother's Day bouquets. So I've just been doing that. Um, Shani's, I'm getting Shani's stuff ready. Shani, our nine year old, she's got so she makes little mini posies. They're usually little dried ones, but the local pub wants 30 of them to give out to the women on Mother's Day. So she's got a nice little, you know, job making those. So I've got to get the stuff ready for her, of course. <laughs> and then she'll make it up and then claim all the money. So anyway, the things you do for your kids. <laughs> but I've harvested these banksias. I did that yesterday morning. This is just a cool branch. I just like that. I'll do something with it. Um, we actually got this fever few. Got, a friend was in at a wholesaler in Melbourne yesterday. I just said, can you grab me five bunches? Because we are not going to have enough of it left. Um, I've got some Chrissy's, but I've got more coming today. Actually, I don't think I'll have them today. I'm going there today to have a look at it, but I think I'll probably have to go harvest them on... Maybe Thursday. I really want to make the bouquet. I need to make the bouquets up on Friday. Marina is selling roadside Friday afternoon and then we're both going out Saturday morning. So everything needs to be done by sort of lunchtime Friday. So anyway, I'll figure it out. I have to clean up this. This is just the leftover electrical stuff from when the shed got finished. Power's all done. Ooh, I've got to show you this. But there's a bit of a problem with the frame rate on video. And it's, it isn't actually flickering in real life. But these LED globes, they must flicker and the f frame rate of the camera. So I don't know how I'm going to film in here now with that. Um, Aircon is up. It's got a heater in it. It's a split system. Anyway, that's where we're at here. Um, we've still got some more foliage we're working on here. And all the magnolia that I harvested yesterday. This didn't even make a dent in her tree and she's got like eight trees. So... Thank you so much if you're watching, which I don't think you are. <laughs> but as a thank you, I'm making her a magnolia wreath. So I'll use some of it for her wreath. All the Chrissies that I'm picking from a lady up the road, the thank you for her is they have a funeral on Tuesday. So the Tuesday right after Mother's Day. So I'm picking extra stuff from her garden and I'll do the arrangements for the funeral using all her garden flowers, which is going to be really cool. So that's their thank you. Um... The lady I picked the Panksias from, I always offer, like, just let me know when you want a bouquet, but she never takes it up. Um, she wants to rip those trees out, but we're going to offer to go prune them properly for her in the hopes that she leaves them there because <laughs> we like being able to pick it. 
Um, and the lady that I'm picking the um, proteas from, she will often just message and say, hey, can you deliver the bunch to somebody or, you know, she'll... So I just kind of like, we barter a bit with the flowers. We don't just take them off people. We thank them. Hi everyone, I'm back in the, in the studio. I'm setting up screaming kid, but I can't open this door. Oh. He wants to go out, but I can't because I have to look after him. Water buckets, I only need, right now I'm just doing some extra roadside stuff. We've got some Chrissy's. These are I bought from the wholesaler. I'm getting some from a friend up the road. I haven't got enough foliage, but we've got some at the moment. So I've just set it up. This is the roughest setup ever because I just need to get stuff done. So I will get rid of all the electrical stuff where I'll wrap everything. I've got to go get the other wraps out of the house. This is just a spare table for me to lay things out on. Um, two baskets for scraps. And then I, when it, more stuff is coming, but all of the main feature flowers will be over here. The fillers here and foliage here so I can just walk down grab what I want and then move along wrap and put them in a bucket I probably could have set it up better but for now this will do uh, and it's a struggle because I'm doing this with a two-year-old who doesn't want to do anything except whinge and do his own thing so wish me luck Morning. So it's uh, Thursday morning. I'm out in the studio. I've got to strip and clean up some stems, just organize things in here. I haven't filmed much over the last few days. It's just been chaos. This morning, I'm going to another friend's house. She's got heap, heaps of chrysanthemums and she's pretty much giving them all to me. So she's got lots. Um, and in exchange, I'm doing funeral flowers for them for Tuesday. So today I've got to just make one arrangement for them. And then on Monday, I'll go back. She wants me to use her garden to make the flowers for the funeral. So that's a pretty good barter. And thankfully the funeral is after Mother's Day <laughs> because I don't know how I would have had time. Uh, we're very tired. Um, as you can see, we've got heaps more stuff in here. Uh, I think I can't even remember what I filmed. So I'm going to get back into it. Hi everyone, just checking in. Very cool opportunity. So as I said, I've come over doing funeral flowers in exchange for some flowers. But basically, I can just walk around and pick 
what I would like to go in these arrangements and then I can pick my stuff and then I'll come back Monday. Um, but I just wanted to show you. So, so far this is what I've got. They are after a really nice big native arrangement to give as a gift. Uh, so I've got proteas, um, banksias, woolly bush. This is kangaroo paw. I'm not sure what this is. And it smells a little bit like thryptamine, but it's a bit early for thryptamine, so I'm not sure what that is. Uh, gum nuts. Found some green ones so they won't fall off. Um, I think that's all. Of, the, the foliage is mainly the banksia foliage at this point. So I've just got some more things to put in. I've got some salvia, some more foliage down here. And I, there's some little red, I think it's gomfrinas. I'm not sure. I'll pop them in. So yeah, I'll keep working on this. Finished. So I've just left that there for them in their cupboard. Um, now I'm going to go and pick the chrysanthemum. And I'll just go get a little bit, a few bits and pieces of native things. Then I'll head home and start making all these bouquets. Postpone it when others doubt and out you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is overnight, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Clamp the intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. To you, they listen to be you, it's them that I wish in. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt. What time is it, Mammal? Well, we haven't quite finished, but we've done a huge amount of it. Yeah, it's late. What time? Like 1 a.m. or? This is all the. Oh, yeah. So, this is. Magnolia ended up no, not so good. It's just weird shapes. So, we've still got all this foliage and then these flowers, and I'm going to go pick more Chrissy's tomorrow. And then this is what we've made. Beautiful. I know. So, what have we got? 10. 20, 30, 40. We've got about 50 bunches. And my goal was to do 60. So, you know, I've got 14 more there. I'll do those tomorrow. I think we've got enough to do those. The only thing is I, I've put two um, proteas in some of them. They're still priced properly though. They're still priced the same way. Yeah, right. Anyway. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's us over and out. Shani's been working on her little posies here. Why don't you turn off the light? Bye. <laughs> bye. Do I have a... Uh oh. What are you doing? I'm saying bye. What did I turn off these lights? <laughs> that, that, you've got to press the button in. Oh. oh gosh, I'm glad that the vlog of that sun. I wish I could have started earlier today though. Anyway, back to the spooky. Spooky okay, guys. Have you got a torch? Yeah. We do have another light on over there. That needs Should to I lock off. it? I haven't got the key with me. Oh, it's ah, so freaking cold out. Here's the key. Yeah, more. Why can you do it? It's on in the dark here. Okay. You can find the man if you can.
You're arguing our key? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't feel oh, safe. Oh, you did that first go. I can't seem to get it to work. Well, now all the good people know we lock our doors, so. And this one? It's open. You'll have to lock it. Oh, yeah, you're going to turn the light yeah. Adios. Hello, it's the next day, so it's Friday. Day before we do the, the market and roadside. So I showed you last night what we worked on. We haven't got any more flowers made yet. We've been busy. Our visitors, we kind of couldn't do anything this morning because they were leaving. Um, Moroni's packed the car for roadside this afternoon. We've got probably twice as much as we'd normally take. And so that's emptied out a little bit in there. Um, I've, we bought a, I'll show you the van. We bought an awning for it and I'm just doing a rough setup. I'm just taking a heap of bits and pieces to the market just to get the flowers on different levels just to make it visually appealing. I don't have signage or anything, but we just got to get to this market. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain. I don't have the best coverage, but anyway. And... I've got a friend coming over at around four. She's going to help me make bouquets. Shani's going to finish hers. And then my mum turns up about five and she's on babysitting duties while we get this job done. So we've got this awning. It's oh, honestly could have been a bit bigger, but it is what it is. I actually think I need to go get a market umbrella. Hang on. Come on, you're in the way. You're going to get run over by a car. Give me the bucket. I've also got to change you now before we go. <laughs> Quick, come with mummy. Quick, the car's coming. I don't even have time to show you what he's got in there. We just don't have time, sorry. <laughs> but he's off. Hello. I think you're right to just go straight back. Can't hear me. I think you're okay to just go straight back. Oh, yeah, he's going to turn here. Yeah. Oh, love ya. Love ya. Good luck. Hi, everyone. Checking in again. So, Moroni has gone roadside. Um, he actually sold out, so he's heading home now. But there's a donut guy that sells next to Moroni on Friday nights now. And it's <laughs> he's really nice and we think it works good. But what the donut guy did, because he just wants to help us, he put up an advertisement that if people buy a bunch of flowers from us, he'll give them two free donuts. Like just all off his own back and everything. So how amazing is that? So that brought some extra people to us because he advertised for us on his social media. So I'll give a shout out to him. His business is called, wow, forgot. His business is called Happy Cat Donut. Um, and he sells from it like a caravan sort of thing. He looks pretty busy and he's got churros too. So I don't know if Moreno and I had some of that, but <laughs> he gets those in Mexico. Um, I'm busily making more flowers. We need way more stuff for tomorrow. So I'll show you what we've got. Moreau and I actually took a heap of this roadside, so I'm just trying to fill it up again. Um, Shani's got this big order. She had this big posy order. She had a, an order for 30 and she got another order for another 30, but she's very cold, so I've sent her inside. I'm going to finish it off. There's only a couple to go. We don't have a lot of stuff left. There's a lot of proteas. We're going to go pick from the flower patch again tonight. We haven't had a frost yet, so the stuff is safe, which is amazing. Um, so we're going to go pick what we can tonight, make as, as much stuff as we can ready for tomorrow. Uh, my mum hasn't turned up yet, so 
I'm not sure where she is, but it's okay. It's worked out okay. A friend came over and helped Shani do her posies, which is really nice. We were going to make a whole heap of little gift boxes tonight, but I think I don't really want to do another 2 a.m. night. I am really, really tired, and I've got to get up so early for the market tomorrow and get through tomorrow as well. And I'm very conscious of the fact the weather's snapped cold. It, the first really cold day was today. And, you know, this is sort of the kind of weather we're all going to get sick in if we're going to get sick. So I don't want to get too run down and get sick. Um, anyway, I'm just going to keep working on this, making her little posies, and then I'll get back to making bouquets. Okay. <laughs> Friday night and we're done. So we're just gonna go pack the car, but I'll show you what we've got. And I've got my mum here. <laughs> this is my mum and she's making dried posies, well dried bouquets and they're beautiful, look. And she wanted to be a part of YouTube because she watches it. <laughs> but anyway, this is what we got. So we've got, well I don't even know at this point, like 30, 35s, 20, 55s and I can't remember 10 75 something. Anyway, I gotta go. We're very busy. We've got to pack the car, don't we, me and more? Hello, we're back. So we sold out 
by I think it was like one at one o'clock in the afternoon we had thought we'd be there all day plus tomorrow morning but we just didn't have enough stuff we do we can get some more but we're so tired like I'm I've had so hey, little mommy. sleep the last few days hello you want to say hello Green. say hello I've had such little sleep the last couple of nights Green. like f four or five hours each night Green. I have this like killer headache. I just don't think I've got it in me to go picking and then make more bouquets and then get up early again tomorrow. So we're going to call it a day. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back again next week for another one and see you then. Bye.